Joining us this evening, Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church of Dallas and Fox Business contributor. Uh, his new book is out. It's a, entitled A Place Called Heaven Devotional, 100 Days of Living in the Hope, in the Hope of Eternity. Uh, it is a devotional. It is a place called heaven. I love that title, Pastor. Great to have you with us. We want to recommend uh, your new book to our audience, to everyone. Uh, and it's great. It's great to see you. We've got some politics to talk about tonight. Uh, you bet. <laughs> President Biden is not slowing down with those executive orders. Uh, and he's rolling back the administration's anti-abortion rules. Uh, he is he's unrelenting. You're, I don't think you're surprised by anything he's doing. What can you do about it? Well, we continue to call out the hypocrisy of this. You know, yesterday he overturned the Mexico City policy that prohibited tax dollars from supporting international abortions. And it's a policy President Trump had actually not only put back in place, but uh, expanded. And it's interesting, Lou, that last week when Jen Psaki, his press secretary, was asked what Biden was going to do about that, she deflected and she simply said, you know, remember, Biden is a devout Catholic, and he goes to church regularly. Well, Lou, you can't be in church on Sunday saying Jesus loves the little children of the world and on Thursday be in the Oval Office signing a death warrant for millions of unborn children around the world. That's hypocrisy. Every Catholic, every evangelical, everyone who believes the Bible ought to be outraged by Biden's actions. You know, in a poll, 77% uh, of voters opposing sending taxpayers overseas to pay for abortions. Uh, this, is a, this is a man uh, now in the Oval Office who doesn't really care about either legislating, uh, getting the people's will behind him, uh, persuading people of a viewpoint. He is simply signing fiats and ordering them to be f fulfilled. Uh, it is... It's despotic. I mean, it really is. And I don't care who the president is. Once you have to move to the level of an executive order without consensus in the country, you're going to the result will be division. Do you not agree? Oh, I agree 100 percent. And look, the reason he has to resort to executive orders, he can never get the support of the American people behind this, but he doesn't have to because Joe Biden, Kamala Harris were bought and paid for by Planned Parenthood. And they do this in the name of reproductive rights. Biden talked about yesterday about protecting women's health. Well, what about the health of the hundreds of thousands of baby girls he is dismembering through abortion and taxpayer dollars? This is just unbelievable, but it's a preview, Lou, of coming attractions under the Biden-Harris uh, administration. And where is the Republican Party? Where is their voice? Where is the broad voice of so many evangelicals, Catholics? I mean, where is the Catholic Church? It's, it's a fundamental uh, teaching of the Catholic Church. Uh, and all we hear is silence. Well, Lou, you know, you can, uh, we hear talks about unity. Look, I'm all for unity, but you can tie the tails of a dog and cat together. They might be united, but they're not unified. And you're never going to have Republicans and Democrats, conservatives and liberals united when they have completely different visions for America. The Bible says, how can two walk together lest they be agreed? I don't pretend, I don't think we're going to have unity. I think the best we can hope for is civility. But we're not getting much of that from the Democrats right now. Nor, in my opinion, are we likely to. And they and we all know uh, when President Biden talks about unity, what he's really talking about is muting Republicans and conservatives, even rhinos who want to be liked by the by the good president. I, the left now is blaming Christian schoolers, uh, uh, homeschoolers for the Capitol Hill riot. I mean, I've seen a lot of extraordinary remarks, but this one is getting uh, is one of the most astonishing. Uh, your reaction? 
Yeah, the Huffington Post is actually blaming uh, Christian homeschoolers for having curriculum that is anti-science and religion-centered, and that's what caused the Capitol Hill riots. It reminds me of when the Emperor Nero burned Rome and then blamed the Christians for setting it on fire. This shows the hatred that the left has toward religion and what they want to do to try to muzzle and silence those who believe in the principles of Christianity. Pastor Robert Jefferson, as always, great seeing you on this uh, beautiful Friday evening in America. Thanks so much. Again, his new book is called A Place Called Heaven. Uh, it's a devotional, 100 Days of Living in the Hope of Eternity, available now. Stay with us. We're coming right back.